Yo, what's going on guys? Jay here from Easy Blade. We're back with another fade haircut. Today we're gonna do a high skin fade with the beard. This is gonna be a great video. I want you guys to stick around so you can learn something new, guys. So what we're doing here basically is skinning out the hair. We're using an outliner. We're using a babyless outliner for those, who, those of you who want to know. Uh, I've been sticking to this outliner for a long time. I've been trying all the new stuff on the market, but this seems to be the one that I like the most. So pretty much I'm going ahead and just skinning it all the way out. Then we're gonna use our shaver and we're gonna get that skin even closer because when you use a shaver, it's really gonna make the fade pop out. So you want that haircut to be as skin as possible. This way when you do the blend, it really, really pops out and shows you, you know, that blend. All right, so what we're doing here is we're grabbing a number two guard, put it on the machine, and we're basically going to the top of the head. We're going to the crown of the head because it is a high skin fade. So we're flicking our wrist as we get higher and basically just going all the way to the top of the crown of the head, and we're doing that all the way around the head. All right, so we're gonna start our second guideline. What we did is we opened our machine up all the way and we're just creating a bar, guys. We're creating a bar straight across. This is our second guideline. So we have our skin line and we also have this bar, which is that second line. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and work on taking out that second guideline first. And lastly, we'll go ahead and take out that skin line. But first, we wanna work on this line. Stay calm, stay cool, stay collective and just concentrate on that line. I think a lot of people look at the whole fade overall and want to fade the whole thing out right away, but you got to take fades in steps. Fading, fading hair is just basically steps, guys. You want to make sure that you're taking it in steps. All right, so we drop it down to our one and a half. And with that one and a half, we're fading into that two. As we get higher, we're opening a lever and blending out that number two guard using our one and a half. So we're fading into the two guys. Okay, so we drop down to our one guard. Now we're starting to hit that line a little bit more. And you're gonna notice that that line is starting to fade out a lot more. So we still need one more guard to completely take out that line. But as of right now, we're gonna start just hitting that line. You can see it's getting closer and the fade is starting to take place. Okay, so we drop down to our half guard. Now that half guard is really gonna start taking that line out. This is how we're gonna completely take out that line, flicking our wrist, really tapping that half line and just getting it out. So our first guideline should be gone after we complete this step. And then the last line we need to worry about is that skin line. So for a lot of you new guys that are out there that are always worrying about, you know, how, how can I take out that skin line? Today I'm gonna show you and you know, you gotta take your time guys you know it's just all steps it's all levels and just looking at the fade as sections and not looking at it as an overall fade i think a lot of people when they start fading their hair at home or when they start learning how to fade hair they just look at the whole complete i just gotta fade this thing you know all right so here we go we're starting to blend out that that skin line so we got our guard off for the machine we close the clipper all the way and we start to hit that line with smaller strokes. And as we get higher, we open our lever. Now, if you guys remember in the beginning of the haircut, we made our second guideline, we used the lever open. 
So basically we're fading to that area of the head. We're fading to that section of the head. Same thing on this side, guys. We wanna keep going around the head, flicking our wrist, smaller strokes, tinier strokes, and really, really getting that line out. Now, if you notice, I'm using a brush because there's a lot of small micro hairs that can be in the way, so you wanna make sure that you're brushing that out the way. You don't wanna leave any hair there because that's only gonna confuse you and make you think that you're not fading it correctly. So this is what we have, guys. Now, we're gonna start our lineup. So we're gonna start by lining the edge of his head, all right? I'm gonna pull the hair back, put a clip on it so I can hold it up and just get this part of the hair. Okay, so we're gonna start that corner. Now having these clips is a good tool to have because sometimes the hair gets in the way. Having these clips will really, really, you know, move the hair out the way for you so you can basically be able to line the person up, all right? Because some people like to have their hair hanging over their head. In this particular case, he likes to have his hair hanging down a little bit. So we're gonna start lining out the beard. Okay, so we're starting on the outside of the beard. Then we're gonna go work on the inside as well. Now, most of the detail here is gonna come from the straight razor, guys. The detail is gonna come from the straight razor, so we wanna make sure that we just tap it lightly with the machine. Don't try to get too detailed with the machine. This is how you push it too far down. You know, he wants his beard as thick as possible, as wide as possible. I don't wanna go down with the machine. Uh, I'd rather do it with the razor, so that's gonna make it really, really uh, pop out. So what we did here is just going at the bottom of the neck, just making sure that everything is nice and clean. And I'm kind of grazing over any hair sticking out. He didn't want to take anything down. So we're just kind of like anything sticking out, I'm kind of freehanding it. Same thing over here. So we're gonna grab some Easy Blade Shave Gel to line up the beard, line up the lineup. Now the Easy Blade Shave Gel is clear. You can see exactly what's going on. You'll be able to line the beard. It's gonna allow the blade to glide. Again, we're using the Easy Blade Shave Gel as well as the Easy Blade Straight Razor and Easy Blade Double Edge Razor. You can grab, on our, grab them on our website at easybladeshavingproducts.com. All right, so we're stretching that skin, making sure we're pulling it, angling the blade at a 30. And we're just trying to get that line as sharp as possible. Now you notice I'm doing very, very small strokes. I don't want to go too far. I want to push too hard. I want to keep his beard as wide as possible. Okay, this is what we have. So we're going to go ahead and trim the top a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and wet the hair. And we're just trimming it a little bit. Regular comb back trim, guys. Nothing crazy. No splitting of the hair or anything like that. This is just a light trim and we're going back just to make sure everything is nice and even. He does like his hair, you know, a little bit longer than, you know, as much as much as possible. He doesn't want it uh, too short. So we're just trimming it down. So we're going to blow dry it out. Uh, let his hair hang over his forehead a little bit. That's what he likes. That's how he likes his hair. Uh, make sure that you blow drying the hair. It kind of gives the, the, the haircut a better look. If you leave it wet and let him leave the barbershop, sometimes it doesn't look right, you know. So this is what we have. If you guys do like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, guys, if you guys need any products, you can go to our website, easyblazeshavingproducts.com. You can use coupon code YouTube. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments, any haircuts that you want to see, leave a comment below. Talk to you soon.